Hello YouTube! Welcome to the last episode of my Carve Your Own Cutlery series. In the first video I showed you how to carve such a knife. In the second video I showed you how to carve such a fork. And in this video I'll show you how to carve a spoon. The main problem on carving a spoon is always this concave mouth part. If you have a hook knife or another spoon carving tool, this task is no problem. But if you only have a Swiss Army knife, you have to know some techniques. In this video, I show you a technique for advanced carvers. Don't worry if you are a beginner. In this video, I show you an easier technique. You need a bit more time but you get the same result. So let's start! For this project you need an about 25 cm long hazel lock with a diameter between 4 and 5 cm. First step is to split the lock. Second step is to clean the cutting surface and to carve out the pith. Like this. Once the surface is cleaned, turn the lock, go 10 cm back from the end and cut something like a step, like this. After this step, draw in the shape of the concave mouth part. An easy way to draw in the mouth part is to draw a snowman something like this. And then connect the two circles and now you have a good shape. Next step is to carve the concave mouthpiece. For that you need two techniques. First technique is the fine carving technique. That means you push the thumb of the spine of the small blade like this. Second technique is you hold the knife like this and you pull the knife against your thumb like this. I show you. 
and always cut along the line you draw in. That you can work on the other side, you have space here for hold the lock like this. If the concave part is deep enough, I use this rounding of the bottle opener for scratch out the fevers. Now I try to remove the last fibers with the small blade, very gently.
and now I'm pretty happy with the result. Next step is to carve the row shape of the handle. This section is smaller than here at the end. That's why I try to turn out my wrist like this. I carve like this, like this, like this. So I start about here and zack. So this is enough for the row shape in this direction. Now I carve the handle a bit thinner on this side. Actually, you should cut from the outside to the small part, like this. But as you could see, it works when you, when you twist your wrist like this. But the fine cut I make against me, like this. I prefer to carve with the small blade. The row shape of the handle done. Now I start to cut away the remaining material around the mouthpiece. If you carve on the convex side of the mouthpiece, you can feel the thickness of the material with the thumb and the index finger. Like this. This works very well.
So, 95% of the carving works is done. The last 5% is to make a hole for a cord and I make some fine adjustments. So, I'm finished with my spoon, this is the whole cutlery set, uh, knife, fork and spoon. I like it. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks a lot for watching, please check the first two episodes of this series and thanks a lot for watching, see you next Friday, ciao!